Hey guys, what's going on? It's T-Bow Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you episode 2 of my Fallout Shelter Survival Mode. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, especially with the couple new updates. And I've done some off-camera work, not too terribly much. Uh, just some basic stuff. And I hope you guys are ready. Um... I think today I'm going to get into kind of explaining the factions a little bit more. As you guys can see, I'm faring pretty well with resources. I've got a couple new people. I've got a couple new buildings. But anyway, I need to get this 10 in pistol. Actually, I'll get uh, this one. I'll put this one back on him. And I'm going to have this guy switch with the BB gun because... We're gonna, he's gonna, we're gonna send this guy exploring. Uh, before we do that, uh, I completed a couple off-camera quests, and we got a lunch box, which is, box, which is pretty much like a goodie bag, but it has good, it just has good stuff inside. Let's see, we got a shovel, which is a thing that you need to craft stuff. We got a .32 pistol. We got a hundred caps. We got fifty food, and five hundred caps. So decent stuff, nothing that's going to help me right now except for the caps and food. But let's sit in this guy exploring. Um, this girl is now pregnant. Uh, basically they just do cheesy flirty. They just talk like they're really cheesy and it's a bunch of flirting in there. And then uh, they have the baby. It takes quite a while to have the baby and the room's on fire. My goodness. I'm gonna send two guys over there. Uh, as you guys can see, there is like a lot of fires going on. It's because it's survival mode. There's gonna be a lot of stuff like this. And I'm not faring too well on water. I'm doing decently, but it's not awesome. And they're gonna head back up. And uh, I'm gonna see what quests we have. Equip one dollar with an outfit, sell one weapon or outfit, and successfully wash one room. I guess I'll do the rush. Before, uh, basically, okay, today I'm gonna start doing the fa factions like I said I would. My personal favorite, it has to be the Minutemen. Yeah, I got that. Uh, the Minutemen, hmm, how do I explain them? They're basically, like, I guess they're kind of like the police. Military fatigue, that's good. They're kind of like the police. They want to, uh, r r unite the wasteland. Uh, to make it strong. Alarm clock, that's a piece of junk. Good, uh, Nuka Cola Quantum, that's like a gem in a different game, it just speeds stuff up. Um, the Minutemen just want to reunite everybody. Uh, their preferred weapon choice is lasers. They like using, like, laser muskets. Um, next is the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, they're a big corporation that basically just wants to clear all the wasteland out of of all hostiles. They want to just, just they basically just want to demolish everything. Uh, clear it of all hostiles. Uh, that's basically what they want to do. Uh, the Institute, not the, uh, the, what is it called? Oh, sorry, the Brotherhood of Steel pref prefers, um, using power armor and another room on fire. This is having a lot. But, um, they, they like power armor, which is basically med electronic metal armor that, um, all it basically does is, all it basically does is, um, what is it called? I guess it just protects you a lot, and it does a lot of, yeah, protection. It's quite good. Um, but it's quite a bit later in the game, unless I get lucky with opening a lunchbox, which I just got another one for, uh, leveling up a dweller. And let's see, hunting rifle, that's pretty good. 100 caps. Braham and hide. Stim pack, which Brahamans are basically huge two-headed cows. And 500 caps. Um, the railway, uh, they kind of like, I guess, they have some, it's called a railway rifle. It's basically, it shoots nails. It's kind of like a nail gun. 
uh, they what they want to do is free the synths, I think. Yeah, and the Brotherhood of Steel hate synths. Uh, what? Yeah, so what the, the railway want to do, they want to free synths. Uh, synths are synthetic humans uh, that basically work for the Institute. Uh, the Institute is just bad. That's basically the gist of the Institute. It's just a bad guy. Um, there are other bad guys like raiders and just uh, mutated creatures. Um, there's, what is there? The main ones you're going to run to in the beginning of this game. I guess all of them in this game. I think I already said it. But, rad roaches, mole rats, um, myrtlicks, which are huge crabs. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, myrtlicks, gals, I think they're called. Ye something like that. And, uh, are only gonna be seen on here. They're not, you're not, they don't think you actually get raided by them. You got guys or whatever they're called. Uh, they're huge bears. Um, there's also, like, uh, wild mongrels, which they're usually come in packs, which kind of sucks. Uh, they don't attack you, like I said. Um, I guess there's also pets, and it's a red roads infestation. My goodness. Uh, the they're basic, uh, there's pets, which, uh, upgrade your stats. It can be, I don't know if it, it can upgrade your happiness, it can upgrade your chance to get twins, it can upgrade your XP bonus. Uh, there's a lot of stuff it can upgrade. Oh, uh, what's next? What should to do next? Um, there are a couple of different kinds of pets. Um, there's, like, cats, there's dogs. There are, what else are there? Hmm. Cats, dogs, parrots, and there's different kinds of cats and dogs. Right here is going to be your stats. Uh, current male dwellers, female pregnant, uh, female dwellers, pregnant de dwellers, children, average dweller level, all the average stats, which all of them are one so far, I think. Oh, except my perception, 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 that's pretty good. Um, power production per minute. Uh, food production per minute, water production per minute, consumption, common weapons, rare weapons, legendary weapons, weapon recipes, common outfits, all that stuff. This is the stuff I've all have done. My playtime, 28 minutes, all this good stuff. Um, levels gained, Simpax taken, all that stuff, caps collected. Down here, I mean, there's just a bunch of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Um, pets, common pets, rare pets, legendary pets, and then all the different kind of pets. Uh, you can look at that if you want to. It also shows the weapons and kind of gives like a little phrase with them. All like, um, where is it? Oh, no, not that one. Let's see. Oh, I can't press anything today. BB gun, uh, the best weapon in the world for a 10 year old. It says that with all that. With uh, weapons, outfits, and junk. I'm not going to go through them all. If you want to, you can. Uh, my goal is to get pretty much one of at least everything. It's a pretty big goal and it's going to take a while. But um, it, it will be eventually done. And when this game starts picking up, there's going to be a lot more stuff I do off camera. And a lot less stuff I do on camera. As you can see, another lunchbox. And let's see, ooh, legendary card, a trifold flag, that's just a piece of, uh, junk that you use to build stuff. Let's see what next, 50 power, okay, don't necessarily need it, rusty BB gun, uh, when you get rusty BB guns, sell them. They do 0 to 1 damage, so it's worse than your fist. What is this, 100 caps, and a dweller, ooh, uh, Sharon's shotgun, I'll take that shotgun. Um, who am I gonna give this to? I'm going to give it to him. Oh, wait. No. I want to give that hunting rifle to him. Um, this 10M to him. Or her, I should say. Uh, .32 pistol to them. It doesn't look like he's doing anything. He's just standing there. Everybody else is writing something or doing something with a hammer, and he's just standing there. Weirdo. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, that's all we're going to give him, and we're going to sell this rusty BB gun. Or, I guess we can... Now nah, we're going to go ahead and sell it instead of scrapping it, which has a chance to give you junk. I think that was $10. That's 25 for doing it. And now it's collect 100 of all the resources, so that's probably not something we can complete this episode. Level 7. I think that's our top level so far. Yep. And all of them are usually, are mostly in power generator. Uh, tell me how much stuff you guys want me to do off camera. Like, if there's, like, a lot of stuff and you guys just want to see, like, a lot of the highlights, um, tell me. Um, this is probably going to be... Next time, I'm probably going to have quite a few more much more stuff, because I don't know how much you guys want me to do. Uh, nothing, like, huge. Like, I'm not going to have, like, all the web... So, like, some of the best weapons in the game, and I'm not going to open any lunch boxes. I'm not going to have 200 dwellers, which is the max uh, dweller capacity. Nothing like that. I probably won't even have 20 dwellers. And, um, yep. But that's the gist of it, all the factions. We covered more into that. I'll probably go deeper and deeper into that as we go along. Um, let's see, how far is this guy off? He's zero minutes. I'll wait for him. Uh, but I'll probably go deeper and deeper with it as we go along. Um, let's see. Quests, that's when you get the overseer, overseer's office. Uh, they just give rewards and you have to do stuff. I'll probably get into that next episode or maybe the episode after that. Uh, has this guy returned? Yes, he has. Collect. And Sharon's shotgun. Gotta move all these again. Let's see. Oh, we can equip this guy with it. And boom. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Thank and thank you guys for watching. I think I already said that, but never mind, and see you guys.